That's the time of terror. Not, not, you think you're in a time of terror because th you'll never get your thesis done. <laughs> this is the most privileged time in your life because someone else is paying the bills. But um, when you start your own lab, you've got to find something to work on. And my advice to students in general is don't work on something that everybody else is working on. Work, work on something that everybody thinks is dull and uninteresting. Because no matter how dull and uninteresting it is, when you get down to the core of any biological problem, you, get, you find something interesting and, and that may have general application. I worry about people going into on, on cancer research, for example, because the, unless you have a totally novel idea, um, just to find the next tyrosine kinase or the next mutation in cancer, to me, is, is not exciting. But um, to work on something that, um, and it can be, it doesn't have to be in a mammalian organism. It can be in a yeast or in a roundworm or in a fly, whatever. Uh, but, but it has to excite you. It, you, ha you have to feel that there's something there uh, that you can discover. And, you know, and then you have to be very, 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 very lucky. Because luck plays a huge part. And don't let anybody tell you that luck is not a major part of everybody's scientific. Every successful scientist, if they're honest, will tell you how lucky they are. <laughs>